In one of my recent videos, I've changed tires. Now I will balance them. But before I will do this, let me tell you a few things. First of all, I'm not a mechanic. I do not suggest that you should not go to a garage to do it. I don't claim that the method I use is the best there is. I am not telling you to do the same. In this video, I simply show you how I do it. For the last 10 years I balanced tires myself and I didn't have any issues. And I have three cars with winter and summer tire sets each. Let's get back to the balancing. What I am doing is called static balancing. My objective, that is hard to reach, is to evenly distribute the mass of the wheel. It will never be perfect, even with a machine, but we can get close enough to minimize vibration. Here I have two stands like this, made out of scrap metal, with two ball bearings each. You can buy a stand like this online or in a bike shop. The second part is this rod with two cones. I put the rod through the wheel and screw the con. If the rim is straight, the con will set the rod in the center of the wheel. Then I put this assembly on the stand. I look for the heaviest point on the wheel. When the wheel stop moving, I mark the lightest point. I use self-adhesive tire weights. But first, I use a tape to determine the right weight. I set the mark at 9 o'clock to see if I put too much or too little to compensate for the heaviest point. Then the same at 3 o'clock.
I'm trying to get as close as possible and in the end I prefer to put slightly less weight because with the time dirt and mud will build up around the weight. Ten grams is okay for this wheel. I break off the ten grams and glue it inside the rim. Then I check it again at the stand. I take out the rod. It never happened to me to lose the weight. When the wheel is turning, the weight is pressed to the rim. Those standard weights look ugly on the wheel and they scratch the rim. and the next wheel.
I also have this bubble balancer, but the method I use is more accurate. Well, it works better for me.